Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video I'm going to show you how to use your PlayStation 4 controller on the PC using Steam. Coming up next on Your6 Studios. So connecting your PlayStation 4 controller to the PC is extremely easy. We're going to use a micro USB cable and plug the micro USB end in here and then the USB end into the computer. So let's go ahead and do that now. And you should hear a sound on your PC when it connects and it may update the firmware for the DualShock 4 onto your PC. And as you can see on my screen right now, I am able to control and connect my DualShock 4 controller to the PC pretty much right when I plug it in. And also if you don't wanna play with a wired connection, you can go on to amazon.com and buy a wireless adapter that will allow you to play wirelessly on your PC. And it's easy, you just connect it via the USB port and then just hold down the home button and it should connect just like it would on your PlayStation 4. So let's go ahead and jump to my computer right now and I'll show you the software that I'm using. And if you haven't used Steam before or haven't used it with a controller before, I'll show you how to do that coming up next. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. Let's go ahead and open up a web browser on our computer. I'm gonna open up Google Chrome, and then I'm gonna to go to google.com, or I'm gonna type in to the Google search bar, Steam Powered, and this will take me to google.com, and the first link right up here will be welcome to Steam, and it'll be store.steampowered.com. Let's go to that website right now, and on the top right-hand side of the screen, you'll see install Steam, Let's go ahead and click on that. And it'll bring us to this page where we can install Steam on our PC, Linux, or Mac. So let's go ahead and press that button right now. And as you can see, there's 14 million people online and 3.5 million people playing. So a lot of people do use this. All right, so I have it installed on the bottom left. Let's go ahead and open it up on my computer right now. So once you do launch Steam, it will ask you for a username and password. If this is your first time uh, making a Steam account, we'll go ahead and do that right away and sign on in. I believe it will have a two-step verification, so you will need some kind of phone or an email address to go ahead and get your password set up. So I have my PlayStation 4 connected to my PC right now. And what we're gonna wanna go to is big picture mode. And to get into big picture mode, it's in the top right corner of the application. Right here, it's two lines pointing opposite directions. It's labeled big picture mode. Let's go ahead and press that right now. You should be able to use your controller right now and move around the menu on here. Let's go up to the settings bar right here and click on the settings icon and go down to controller settings. And make sure PlayStation configuration support is selected. Then let's go down to detected controllers and just hit identify. You should feel a rumble in your controller if it's uh, identified correctly. And let's go up to preferences and click on preferences. Under here you can uh, select if you want rumble on or off and change the light bar settings or color on your controller right now. now let's go to blue and you can change the brightness or the saturation. Let's go to submit. Let's go back and go to base configurations. And you can change the configurations for your desktop, your big picture mode, or Steam button cord configuration. Let's go to big picture mode. That's usually where I use my PlayStation 4 controller. So let's select that. And under here, you can go on the top here to the default. Uh, if you're using the web browser, how you want to configure it using that. Uh, select mouse position on-screen keyboard. The way they do the keyboard on here is actually really cool. You can go and type on the left thumbstick and right thumbstick at the same time. So you can type really quick using a controller. So let's go to the default. And under here, if you really want to, you can change all the different actions on here. However, most of the time it says warning, do not change these. And they kind of leave it up to the game to dictate how they have the sensitivity and the dead sticks with the, the thumbsticks. So I usually leave this how it is. And then if I want to change anything, I go to the game configurations for the controllers. So let's go to my library right now. 
And the cool thing about using Steam is versus uh, anything else uh, is you can play games that do not support the controller and find custom configurations someone made and still use your DualShock 4 controller. For instance, Modern Warfare 2 is not uh, native controller support on the PC, but you can still use your controller. Uh, we can go to Manage Game, Controller Configuration, and under here you'll see I have some configurations, but I went to Square first, and under here it will pop up custom configurations um, someone from the community made. For instance, this first one right here, MW2 PS4 configuration has a recent play time of 67,000 minutes and 345 upvotes. And I can go ahead and just press X on that and it will load the configuration in here. And we can go ahead and adjust it from there if we want to change like our dead zone, our thumbstick sensitivity, our haptic feedback, a lot of different customizations. And then we can go ahead and press square once again and apply that configuration and this is just for mw2 and you can do this for every game that you come across so let's go ahead and launch modern warfare 2 on my computer and this does not have native controller support it's only mouse and keyboard on the pc but with this game the mouse is actually remapped to the right thumbstick so i can move around the cursor and go to any menu option with that and then I can just hit the X button and go to a specific menu item. Let's go to a private match here and go ahead and just start a game here. So let's start up a game and I'll show you that I can move around and uh, jump and use the controller on the PC. And also you can add in games that aren't native to Steam to your game library. So let's go ahead and go to class one and it may take a few different options uh, to get it set up exactly the way you want. So just be aware this may not be a smooth experience right away. Especially when the game's not mapped to your controller or doesn't use native controller support on the PC. So as you can see I can move around and it's actually not too bad. I think I have custom settings already in here. And it seems like it would be like on the Xbox 360 or on the... PS3. As you can see you can still go through the different movement options on the PC version and you can change everything in here the way you want it to in addition to the custom configuration for the controller. And since I have my Steam overlay on I can just hold down the home button on the PlayStation and then go to the controller configuration right here if something isn't mapped right. So I can load in any kind of configuration in here. And make sure you have the Steam Overlay on by going to Settings and going to Features and going to Steam Overlay. And just enable it right here to be able to go back to the home menu at any point in time by pressing the PlayStation Home button. So if this video helped you out, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. And check out some of the other videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.